So, in the last lecture, we have discussed various uh, sinusoidal oscillators such as RC phase shift oscillator, Colpitt's oscillator, Hartley oscillator, Winbridge oscillator, etc. So, these oscillators will generate the sinusoidal waveforms, but operational amplifier can also be used to generate the other type of waveforms such as a square wave, triangular wave, sawtooth wave also. So, the difference between the sinusoidal oscillator and uh, the other waveform generator circuits is that in order to generate the waveforms other than sinusoidal waveforms. So, we have to operate the operational amplifier in saturation region so, that is the one of the main difference. So, in order to operate in the saturation region, so like in oscillator here also we are going to operate the operational amplifier in uh, positive feedback uh, configuration and uh, we are going to use the principle of the comparator. So, first I will discuss about the uh, square wave generation. So, because square wave will be having two states, so you have to operate this in saturation region, this you can call as positive saturation, this you can call as negative saturation. Normally, this saturation voltage is Vcc, the power supply of the operational amplifier. So, in order to generate this type of uh, waveform, so we will take the operational amplifier. and operate in the positive feedback loop. Input we are going to apply to the integrator, this is a basic integrator. There is a feedback path. A voltage divider, this is the output. So, what is the voltage here at this point? If I call this point as P, Vp will be this is voltage division, this is V naught appears across R1 and R2 and we are taking the voltage across R2. So, Vp is equal to V naught into R2 by R1 plus R2. Let this R2 by R1 plus R2 is beta, so this is beta V naught. So, the voltage here is beta V naught where beta is R2 by R1 plus R2. Let us assume that the voltage across the capacitor is Vc. Of course, all Vc, V not all function of time only. This is V0 of t and as well as Vc of t. For the sake of simplicity, I am not mentioning the time here. Okay. Now, what is the operation of this circuit? How does this generate the square wave? at the output of this circuit. So, if I assume this difference voltage as V d between these two points, this is different voltage, this difference voltage if you call as V d, because the operational amplifier operates in the positive feedback mode, if V d is slightly greater than 0. Difference voltage is positive means output will drive into positive saturation. So, this will be equal to plus Vcc if you have power supply of plus Vcc and minus Vcc. A small value of this difference voltage across this inverting and non-inverting terminals of operational amplifier will drive the output into saturation because of the positive feedback. 
even without feedback open loop gain is of the order of 10 to the power of 5 if you apply the positive feedback the gain will further increases as a result of that even a very small difference voltage of vd which is uh, slightly more than zero it will drive the operational amplifier into positive saturation on the other hand if vd is slightly less than zero so the operational amplifier will drive into the negative saturation So, there will be two uh, states at the output of this operational amplifier. So, in a square wave also we will be having two states. So, we can generate the square wave at the output of the operational amplifier. So, the output V0 can be either plus V sat or minus V sat. Let us assume that uh, the case 1, let output V0 equal to 0 plus V sat. Then what happens to this capacitor? This is V naught, this is resistance R. The capacitor C charges. Through R. Resistor. Towards. Plus V set. So, this output was V set. So, this capacitor will charge S through this resistor towards this plus V set. But whenever it charges to a value which is beta times V naught, that is the voltage at a positive terminal, what happens? If the capacitor charges to a voltage slightly greater than plus beta. So, V naught is of course, V set. What happens? Now, this voltage is slightly more than the voltage here. So, negative terminal voltage is more than positive terminal voltage. So, V d will be negative implies output V naught will drive into negative saturation. Initially, we started with positive saturation output, now we will get negative saturation. What happens to the capacitor now? Now, capacitor discharges through resistor R towards minus V set because now the output uh, voltage will be minus V set, but it will not discharge up to minus V set whenever it uh, discharges to a value which is slightly more than minus beta V set. So, this will be now minus beta V set. Now, this voltage will be a value which is slightly more than beta V set means positive voltage is greater than the negative voltage as a result of that output again will uh, drive into the positive saturation. that is V naught is equal to plus V set. So, we started with the positive saturation, then after some time the output becomes negative saturation, again positive saturation, 
the cycle repeats. And output V naught. This is the principle of uh, this square wave generator circuit. We can explain the same principle with the help of the waveforms. This is time axis. Let this is the output. output of course v0 zero of 0 of t so this is a function of t so what are the two values for this output plus v set and minus v set now what is the waveform for the voltage across the capacitor so we have seen that the voltage across the capacitor varies from this minus beta v set and in previous case plus beta v set beta is less than 1 we choose beta less than 1 so beta v set will be somewhere here this is plus beta v set and this is minus beta v set So, the voltage across the capacitor varies between these two values. This final voltage across the circuit, final voltage at the output of the circuit is this waveform which is square wave, whereas the voltage across the capacitor varies between plus beta V set and minus beta V set according to exponential relation. So, this is the type of variation you will get at V C of t. Let us cause this period as T 1. Now, what is the expression for the frequency of oscillations? This is one complete time period of square wave f is equal to 1 by t. So, what is the frequency of oscillations of this uh, square wave that is generated the output of the given circuit? So, in order to derive this, we will take the expression for the voltage across the capacitor. This is given by V final value plus V initial value minus V final value times e to the power of minus T by RC. This is one of the famous uh, relation for the voltage across the capacitor which uh, you might have studied in your uh, circuit theory. So, based on this equation, I am going to derive the expression for the frequency of oscillations of this square wave generator. So, voltage across the capacitor Vc of t is given by V final value plus V initial value minus V final value into e raised to the power of minus T by RC. Here what is V final value, V initial value? This will be your starting value. So, V initial value is minus beta V sat and the final value it has to go up to plus V sat, but after reaching this plus beta V sat uh, the output changes, but the final desired value is this plus V set. So, here initial value is minus beta V set and final value is plus V set. If you substitute these values here,
माइनस बीटा वी सेट माइनस वी एफ मीस वी सेट इस इज प्लस ये रेस्टी दी पोरा माइनस टी बाय आर सी माइनस ऑफ बीटा प्लस वन टाइम्स बी सेट टी टू दी पोरा माइनस टी बाय आर सी so one condition here is at t is equal to t1 this t is equal to t1 what is the value of this output v0 this is vc v0 value is plus vz so at t is equal to t1 what is the value of vc of t is beta vz in that condition i am going to substitute at T is equal to T one. What is V C of T? Is equal to plus beta V C at. If we substitute this here, we'll get plus beta V C at is equal to V C at minus of beta plus one into V C at. E raised to the power of T becomes T one divided by R C. So what will be expression for T1, which is the half period? So this V set, this V set, this V set get cancelled. So implies you will get beta is equal to one minus of beta plus one e raised to the power of minus T1 by R C. Implies if I take this term to the other side and this beta terms here, this will be beta plus one times. e raised to the power of minus t1 by rc is equal to 1 minus beta implies what is e raised to the power of minus t1 by rc is equal to 1 minus beta by 1 plus beta or minus t1 by rc is equal to logarithm of to the base e One minus beta by one plus beta implies T one is equal to minus R C times logarithm of one minus beta by one plus beta. And if we want to remove this minus sign, we have to take this one plus beta in the numerator, one minus beta in the denominator, because minus of Log of y is equal to log of one by y. In place, what is T one? R C logarithm of one plus beta by one minus beta. This is half period, and this is symmetric. So this total uh, period T is equal to twice T one. Total time period twice T one is equal to twice R C logarithm of one plus beta by one minus beta. And what is the frequency of oscillations? F is equal to one by T. One over two R C logarithm of one plus beta by one minus beta. So this is the frequency with which the square wave at the output of the operational amplifier will be generated. So basically, this frequency depends upon the R C beta. Beta is again R one and R two. so these four components is going to decide the frequency of oscillations but what will be the output wave form v not here v not will be between plus v set and minus v set this is plus v set and minus v set these are the values for this v not Suppose if I want the output voltage levels other than V sat, P 
plus V sat and minus V sat. What you have to do? For that, we can connect diodes at the output of this circuit. If I connect a two diodes here, G naught diodes, then this output voltage is this is without G naught diodes. With G naught diodes, what will be the output? If this voltage is plus V sat, what happens to this uh, diode D1? D1 is on, D2 is off. If I assume that Vz is the GNR voltage across the each diode, I am taking two symmetrical diode, and Vd is the voltage drop, forward voltage drop across the GNR diode, then what will be the output voltage? We know that if I reverse bias the GNR diode, it will generate the Vz and this is forward biased, so it will generate one forward voltage drop of Vd. Okay. So, total voltage here will be when this is plus V sat, the voltage here will be Vz plus Vd. Similarly, if this is minus V sat, then you will get minus Vz plus Vd. So, as a result of that, you will get a waveform whose values varies between this plus of Vz plus Vd, where Vz is GNR voltage and Vd is the forward diode voltage. And this will be minus of Vz plus Vd. So, other than this plus V sat minus V sat also can be generated the output, but this this is with G naught diodes, but in any case both these signals are square waves only that is on time is equal to off time, this is on period, this is off period both are same. If I want asymmetrical square wave what you have to do is? So, instead of connecting this to the ground, we connect to some variable voltage. If I vary this, I can generate a symmetrical wave, on time off time will be different. So, this is how you can uh, generate at this output square wave or rectangular wave by varying this V. If V is equal to 0 square wave, if I vary the V, you can generate the rectangular wave. Similarly, without this G naught diodes, output swing will be twice uh, V sat, and with this uh, G naught diodes, the output swing will be twice Vz plus Vd. Means it varies from minus V sat to plus V sat uh, without G naught diodes. With G naught diodes, it varies from minus of Vz plus Vd to plus Vz plus Vd. This is all about the square wave generation. So, the next type of uh, waveform is uh, triangular wave. The very basic principle of this triangular wave generation is uh, you take a square wave and you integrate. If you integrate the square wave, you will get the triangular wave. So, we know the integrator circuit, we know the square wave generator circuits, you just cascade these two circuits, you will get a triangular waveform generation circuit. So, the square wave generation circuit uh, which we have discussed just now is this.
let us call this output as v0 dash. So, v0 dash is square wave which we have already discussed now. Now, this connect to the integrator. The final output we call as V0. Now, V0 will be a rectangular waveform. This you call as R3, C3. And this is R compensation, which will be used to nullify the offset voltage and currents, which we have discussed in the earlier lecture. And for a practical integrator, we require another resistor here, which we have discussed in the earlier lecture. Let us call this as R4. This is practical integrator. So, basically the input output waveforms of this integrator will be this is the square wave generated after the first stage plus V set and minus V set and this waveform is V0 dash this V0 dash. And what is uh, V0? During the positive portion, this will be negative going ramp. There are two values which varies. This is the triangular waveform. This is your V0. So, we know that for a simple integrator which we have discussed in the earlier lectures, without compensation and without uh, the shunting resistor, if I take a simple integrator V i of t, V 0 of t. So, you have derived the expression for V 0 of t as minus 1 by R c integral of V i of t d t. So, here in this region this is plus V sat, the input is plus V sat because of this minus sign you will get negative going ramp and during uh, this portion negative uh, V sat is there. So, output of this integrator will be positive going ramp. So, this is how you can generate the triangular wave at the output of the integrator. There is an alternative circuit also where uh, we can avoid the use of this R and C also. Okay. The alternative circuit for the triangular wave generator is We will just take a simple comparator. We will just ground this negative terminal and the positive terminal will be connected to resistor divider. This is a simple comparator. Let us call this output as V0 dash. Then apply this to the integrator. I am not showing the feedback resistor for the practical RP amp and uh, the R compensation also for the sake of simplicity. I am going to connect this point to the final output. 
this part will generate square wave this is integrator and the waveform is square wave here we will get a triangular wave let us call this as r c or r1 c1 so that this is r2 r3 let us call this point as point p now we can analyze this circuit so if this vp is slightly greater than 0 negative voltage is zero the voltage at inverting uh, terminal is zero and voltage at positive terminal which is uh, non inverting terminal if i call as vp if vp is slightly greater than zero then what will be v0 dash plus v set because this is having positive feedback so more gain so output will be plus v set if vp is slightly less than zero this value is less than this value so negative value is more than positive value so output will be negative saturation so as a result of that here a square wave will be generated but what is the condition for this change in the output from plus v sat to minus v sat and minus v sat to plus v sat so there will be some voltage at uh, this p which is going to affect the transition of this output from plus v sat to minus v sat we are going to find out that voltage so for that if i take this wave forms this is the waveform after the comparator this is plus v sat and this is minus v sat then what will be the voltage across the final output v0 so this is positive saturation means at the output of this integrator will get negative going ramp so this final voltage v0 varies between the two voltage levels which we will call as plus v ramp minus v ramp i am going to derive the expression for this plus v ramp and minus v ramp so this type of waveform will be generated at final v not so what is the expression for plus v ramp and minus v ramp uh, where the output will changes from plus v sat to minus v sat here there is the point here where there is a transition from plus v sat to the minus v sat of this v0 dash similarly at this point from minus v sat to plus v sat okay. so for that we are going to perform some analysis case 1 v0 dash is say at plus v sat so what happens to v0 v0 is equal to minus 1 by r1 c1 integral of v0 dash dt this is expression for the integrator because this resistance is r1 c1 this voltage is v0 dash and final output is v0 So the relation between this v0 v0 dash r1 c1 is minus 1 by r1 c1 v0 dash is equal to v0 if with this v0 dash is plus v sat implies v0 is a negative going ramp now 
that is what I have shown in this diagram. So when this is plus V sat, V0 is negative going ramp with a slope of 1 by RC. Now what should be this V ramp voltage at which again this changes, this V0 dash changes from plus V sat to minus V sat. What is that point that we have to derive? For that I will assume that this V0 is say minus V ramp. So, when V0 dash is plus V sat, I will assume that V0 times a value of V ramp. Then what will be the situation? So, this is plus V sat that time I am assuming that this is minus V ramp. So, for this a voltage divider circuit what will be this? This will be plus V sat this point and this point is at minus V ramp. So, what is the expression for the voltage at P? I will take this circuit separately. So, this point is plus V sat this point is minus V ramp and I want this voltage. So, the circuitry will be this is R2, R3, this is minus V ramp, this is plus V sat, R2, R3, I want voltage, and this, this is Vp. So, this is basically a principle of superposition we can apply the principle of superposition to find out Vp. So, in order to find Vp, first you ground this V ramp. If you ground this V ramp, what will be the output voltage V sat times? You are taking voltage across R3 means R3 by R2 plus R3. Now, the contribution due to this V sat will be, now this is minus V ramp, now you ground this and you are taking voltage across R2 and ground. So, this is minus V ramp times R2 by R2 plus R3. Let us first assume that Vp is equal to 0 implies at what value of V ramp will get Vp is equal to 0. V sat into R3 by R2 plus R3 is equal to V ramp into R2 by R2 plus R3. So, these two will get cancelled. So, implies what is V ramp? R3 by R2 times V set. This is the voltage at which Vp becomes 0. If this capacitor discharges to a value which is slightly more than this V ramp, what happens? this voltage will be less than this voltage as a result of that this plus V sat becomes now minus V sat. That is where this point slightly just above this V ramp. So, there is a transition from plus V sat to minus V sat. Now, second case is V0 dash becomes now minus V sat. So, whenever this output V0 discharges to a value which is slightly more than this V ramp. So, at that time V0 dash becomes minus V sat. Now, what is V0 minus 1 by R1 C1 integral of minus V sat dt. So, this minus minus becomes plus as a result of that this is positive going ramp. You can see that here this is positive going ramp when output is minus V sat. 
and what is the expression for this V ramp again in a similar manner. Now, what will be the situation here to generate this V p now implies V naught will goes to plus V ramp. going ramp and we are calling this output as minus V ramp. Now, you call as say plus V ramp. Now, what will be this output now? This will be plus V ramp that time here this will be minus V z. So, again what will be this V p similar to this expression? Now, in place of plus V set we have minus V set, in place of minus V ramp we have plus V ramp, we just change the signs of V set and V ramp. So, V p will be minus V set into R 3 by R 2 plus R 3 plus V ramp into R 2 by R 2 plus R 3. So, implies what is V ramp? We will get the same expression R 3 by R 2 times V set. So, the expression for this V ramp, this is positive V ramp and this is minus V ramp, but the magnitude of this voltage is same R 3 by R 2 times V set. So, there is a transition. Okay. Now, what is peak output voltage V 0 peak to peak? This is V ramp, this is minus V ramp. So, implies what is V 0 peak to peak. In one case minus V ramp, another case plus V ramp, V 0 peak to peak will be now twice R 3 by R 2 times V set. This is one of the important result which we are going to use to derive the expression for the frequency of oscillations. So, this is about the analysis of this triangular wave generator. Now, what is the frequency of oscillations? So, we know that V 0 of t or V 0 is equal to minus 1 by R 1 C 1 integral of V 0 dash of t d t. So, if I consider the period from 0 to t by 2, call this as 0, this as t by 2. So, within this period 0 to t by 2, so this output V 0 is having this swing of plus V ramp to minus V ramp that is peak to peak voltage is twice V ramp. So, now we are taking the limit from 0 to T by 2 that time V 0 will be between plus V ramp to minus V ramp. So, this is equal to minus 1 by R 1 C 1 I am taking the limit from 0 to T by 2 during this V 0 dash will be V set plus V set. This is plus V set between 0 to T by 2. But that time what will be this uh, V 0 T? This will be V 0 peak to peak. So, this is equal to minus V set divided by R 1 C 1 into t by 2 minus 0. Integral of dt is t, so the limits are t by 2 to 0. And what is v 0 of peak to peak which we have just uh, derived twice r 3 by r 2 v set. Implies this v set, v set get cancelled what is expression for T taking this V 0 as magnitude. So, I am just uh, neglecting this minus sign I am taking only the magnitude of this one. So, what will be the expression for uh, T 2 times R 3 by R 2 is equal to T by 2 times R 1 C 1 implies what is T 4 times 
R1 R3 C1 divided by R2. This is the time period. What is the frequency of oscillations? F is equal to 1 by T. This is equal to R2 by 4 times R1 R3 C1. This is the expression for the frequency of oscillations of triangular wave. So, this is the circuit diagram of a triangular wave. If I want to have here the sawtooth waveform, instead of grounding this, if I connect to variable uh, a potentiometer, this you ground, this you connect to minus V. So, with this change, so here you can generate instead of triangular wave, you can generate the sawtooth waveform. So, remaining analysis everything is same. The only thing is you have to add a potentiometer here. So, the same circuit can be used for generating the triangular wave as well as sawtooth waveform. This is all about the waveform generation. So, in the next lecture we will discuss about a specialized IC called as a triple phi timer. This also can be used to generate square wave, triangular wave and rectangular waves etcetera. Thank you. Mm -hmm.